When you're charged with a DUI, you may feel like you have no other options. But why hand them a conviction when you have a chance to win at trial? Both Ann and I are members of the NCDD. That's the National College for DUI Defense. That's a national organization which is dedicated to defending citizens accused of DUI. The National College is an elite group. Only four female attorneys in Virginia are members. Ann and I are two of those four. So several times a year they sponsor seminars that are only about the breath testing, the blood testing, stops by the officers. And so we both spend the time and the effort and the money it takes away from our practice and being in court and representing our clients to go and take the time to learn the new things that are going on in the DUI law. And I think all of that training helps a client in the long run. I learned about how your diet can affect your breath test result. In a particular case I worked on, the client had eaten a high protein, low carb diet for a number of months before her breath test. As a result, her body was producing ketones, which were being converted in her body to isopropyl alcohol. The breath test machine couldn't distinguish between the isopropyl alcohol that was being produced in her body naturally and the ethanol alcohol that um, is produced when we drink and so therefore her breath test wasn't accurate. It keeps us fresh, keeps us inspired. I find it very helpful and it's helped me to win cases or get better results than a client typically would have had I not learned that issue.